Cercavo te. So I know that you are a big fan of Bruce Lee and Kung Fu movies and mm. that you accept this role mainly mm. for the Kung Fu parts. Why are you so fond of, of Kung Fu and Bruce Lee? Why? It, you can't explain it when you fall in love with something as a kid. That's just something that uh, mesmerizes you. And, and I mean, the Kung Fu world mesmerizes me, but he, specifically him, had an ability to, to make it magical. Not only his moves, but also just his face. There was something about him. I think he was maybe the first Asian actor that, that really could cross between the two continents and make something recognizable for both places, right? I just loved him, and I and and I did like I loved uh, Buster Keaton. I I could never have enough at looking at them. I just wanted to look at them. Uh, in your past, you were a dancer, so dancing helped you uh, to play this role. At Kung Fu is almost like a dance. It's a dance, yeah. It is a dance. Uh, you have to have a certain kind of rhythm. Two people fighting have to find each other's movements and ways and, and rhythms. Uh, yes, it did help. I think maybe even more so. I was a gymnast, and that was a little more helpful in this case, mm -hmm. because you have to remember that you can't run around looking like a dancer when you're a killing machine. <laughs> yes. Uh, in this movie and also in other of your movies like uh, Casino Royale, uh, um, mm. Balala Rising, you always have something, there's something wrong with your eyes, you scar. Why? Why do you always put you those scars on your eyes? Well. One of the characters was called One Eye, yeah. and uh, so that that <laughs> explains that. Um, I think the, the those are the windows to the world, right? Mm -hmm. I think that is that is something uh, uh, very vital about eyes. And and if you want to make a statement in the film, in a, in a, either in the makeup department or in visually, the, the the eyes will often be the place you go to. You mm -hmm. can also break your nose, and it, that just looks weird. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, the eyes are the uh, the mirror and the windows to the world. Mm -hmm. You also are um, very often angry in your movies. <laughs> <laughs> Even if you are yeah. calm, like in this yeah. case, you look calm, but you're very angry. Yeah. Why do you think that they cast you? I have, I have, I remember vividly. I've been very happy in the film as well. <laughs> <laughs> it does happen. Uh, I mean, th th this is obviously a character who is on a mission, and he is a very disillusioned man. Mm -hmm. And, and he has to do some terrible things to achieve his goal. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so that makes him cold. Uh, there's no way mm -hmm. he can empathize with, with, um, with, the, with the victims of, of his, his deeds. Uh, he is solely on the goal. Mm -hmm. If you're not uh, angry, you're hungry. <laughs> I can be hungry, yeah. <laughs> yes. Angry and hungry. Uh, I have to ask, in your next movie you will be nice and with perfect sight. <laughs> Uh, the eyes are doing fine in the next one, so much you can say. And, and the nice, yeah, he's nice to a degree. <laughs> okay. uh, in this movie, uh, um, an important theme is uh, fighting death and time. Mm -hmm. uh, you're an artist, uh, a, movie, a movie star, so when you do a role, uh, you are like that forever. In that role, you will mm -hmm. be always like that, always young, always... Yeah, they call forever. it. They do you ever it, yeah. think uh, about the thing? About death, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I think, I mean, the, 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 to be honest, I mean, we are always immortal until certain things happen in our lives. Mm -hmm. We're very immortal when we're young, uh, and the older we get, the more we bring the fear into our li world, right? And, and one of the things that brings fear into your world is obviously having getting kids. Then all, all of a sudden, mm -hmm. you're afraid of everything, right? Because you have something you love so much. But mm -hmm. in terms of getting older, I have come to the conclusion I cannot do anything about it, uh, and and uh, but I can I can hurry up and have a really good time as long as it lasts. Uh, in the movie, one character says that we never lose our demons, and uh, for win, we have to learn how to lose. Do you think that that is true? To be able to win, you have to learn how to lose. Yes. There, there is a let's put it this way. There's a little pocket ph philosophy in there, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. Uh, it, it, it's true if you look at it in one way, and, and it's not true if you look at it in a different way, but, but um, it, for me, then I will never learn to win. I fucking hate to lose. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay. Mm. Another theme is that um, we must um, contain our ego mm. to do great things. And for an actor uh, in this era where we have social networks, Instagram, it's very difficult. How can we learn uh, to take back our ego? Turn, <laughs> turn it off. Okay. That's one way to do it. Uh, and there's plenty of ways to do it. I mean, your ego is a good thing to have. You need an ego, uh, but you have to ha be aware of how, how much space it should take in certain situations. But it's always a good thing to shut off, you know, just shut down your phone once in a while. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. You're amazing. Thank you. I Thank love you. you.